Okay, uh, good afternoon, uh, class. Uh, welcome to this Hazard Education and Risk Control Tools. Okay, today we are going to talk about this Hazard Education. In our daily life, we may having accidents in our life from childhood that we reach the age. Uh, last week, I talked about the competence to the competent, conscious, competent people. Okay, so today I'm going to talk about this thing. At the end of the session, that you'll be able to look, identify the hazardous energy around you and how to manage the risk. I think how to manage the risk and how to implement the control measure strategies. Okay, so I'm going to ask I think the group one here to go to this I think uh, both to discuss about that. Uh, discuss uh, brainstorm about the list uh, hazardous energy. I'm going to give everybody two minutes, and this group go to this one and refer to the pictures and identify the hazardous energy. Yeah. Please go to this. Yeah. Use the box. Yeah. List the hazardous energy there. Uh, no. So there's a lot of I think, pressure energy surrounds us in our daily life. 
temperature. So you all know uh, how uh, thing you know temperature last two months we suffer <laughs> due to high temperature. Okay. Then chemical energy, whatever the things you know in the room or whatever thing we consume is consists of H2O. It's a chemical, and we also use our chemical more extensively in our daily life. And chemical is part of our life. Okay, biological energy. We breathe out air in our daily life. We exchange bacteria and viruses. We get sore throat, and we get fever, flu due to that biological exchange. Okay. Then radiation. Without handphone, we can't live. So. Radiation is a part of our life. Yeah. Sound energy. Without, if I don't make sound, that you are not going to hear from me. Okay. So we can see in a nutshell, there are ten types of hazardous energy surround us. We are living in the world of energy. World of energy. Energy surround us. If we know, we learn uh, through the skills and knowledge, attitude. We develop through our education and we know how to manage this energy surrounding us. And it's not I'm going to teach you, but how to recognize this energy, that's the thing, okay? Then I'm going to talk about the control strategy here. So I'm going to ask, now you learn about these things, I'm going to ask every group, see group one go to the side, the yellow color one, group two go to the blue color, blue color that is the picture, turn it back, okay? Take this and match the energy there. Yep. Go and turn it back and match the energy. I'm going to give you two minutes again. So the blue tag here, So you are, I think I can see all the things are correct. 
Just you are exactly identify all the hazardous energy exactly the same. Okay. So the thing. So you want to you have done anything wrong? Oh, no, nothing correct. So most of you, everybody done these things also correct. Yeah. That's okay. So hey, you can see the thing. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Okay. So when you want to control the hazards, so we're gonna. Uh, yeah, control the hazards. You gotta go for that strategy here. That's a five level of strategy. Level one, you try to eliminate the hazards. Eliminate means don't do. Uh, so, for example, don't use the chemical. Okay, if you want, I think you know that you you, you need to use that. I think job you need to get the job done. For example, you want to do a cleaning. So go and use the less hazardous chemical. Substitute with the less hazardous chemical. Okay, engineering control, store in a proper place, eh? so it is not going to pose any hazard to the children, so you are going to put in the proper cupboard, lock with the lock and everything. And the lock eh, can be opened by the person who is in charge, I think you know the house, that you know, the, the person who is 10 years old can access to the key, okay, that's an administrative control, we are going to keep it there, administrative control. And PPE, sometimes we use the hand lock, right, to go and use the cleaning all the things, so we use that. that's called PPE. We just given an example. So in, in our daily life, we apply the the element, the five hierarchy the strategy here. Okay. So risk control, risk control measures. Elimination. Can I ask everybody to say again? Elimination. Elimination. Substitution. Substitution. Engineering control. Engineering control. Administrative control. Administrative control. PPE. PPE. Okay. I'm going to give an exercise here. Okay. So I'm going to give an exercise here. So please, uh, just uh, take this board here. Okay. One more exercise. Yeah. So team, your team here. Can you arrange the hierarchy of control in the five level? Yeah. Okay. The stickers then? Yeah. Blue text. Yeah. Just think, uh, please proceed to the table. Yeah. Just arrange the things in order. Not to be a uh, the Yeah. Everybody now remember and let's I think you know just 
uh, I have also remember about the five risk management principles. Okay, so we are aware of this thing. With that, I thank you. You need to go back to the first slide. You said you'd come back to that of okay, what yeah. they wrote. Okay, so now uh, can I ask? I think that this team. So what are the things that Put you this can? Put side up. Yeah. Okay. So what are the hazards that you identify? No, can no, you please? No. The no, first picture, side. The picture, the picture, the man in the. You didn't have a the check there. Uh, so okay. Oh. Yeah. So what are the, can you please go back and write the hazardous energy? What are the hazardous energy now? Can you do that? Yeah. Can you please go back to your branch for me and do that? Yeah, hazardous energy.